along all of this, you have the PCB, the Pakistan Cricket Board, releasing a video that basically pretends Imran Khan doesn't exist. Did you see that video? And then now a, a new video, uh, a new video that then brings back the images of Mr. Khan. What did you make of that? So, Barka, you you would know uh, very well uh, Asadullah Khan Ghalib, you know, Mirza Ghalib, the greatest Urdu poet. He said, it is the intention and the desire of the Pakistani state to wish away Imran Khan. They've clamped down on Pakistan media. You cannot mention his name, show his face, uh, say anything about his party, uh, which is uh, positive. And the same state, fascist state, which is controlling the mainstream media in Pakistan, is now told the PCB to just erase Imran Khan from, uh, you know, 50 years of Pakistani cricket. It's like if in India, if you take Sachin Tendulkar out of Indian cricket or Sunil Gavaskar or Kapil Dev, uh, that they never existed. And uh, the 1983 Indian World Cup victory happened in spite of Sunil Gavaskar and Kapil Dev. It, I mean, it is so moronic and dystopian and comic if it wasn't so tragic. Yeah. Uh, here's my question now in the end, Salman. What's going to happen now? where the Pakistan seems to be bracing for elections. It looks like Mr. Khan will not be allowed to contest those elections. Uh, that's the first point. The second point is while all of this is happening, you have churches being attacked in Pakistan, a bishop, uh, a leading bishop in Pakistan making a really heartbroken appeal. You know, so I don't know. How do you reconcile the political churn, the social unrest? Great question. Uh, Barka, so we should learn from history. In Pakistan, 76 years, uh, you know, more than half of those 76 years have been military dictatorship. And the other, basically, puppets, uh, dynastic puppets in power from the Sharif and Bhutto uh, uh, dynasty, being the, the puppets of the military. Now, what Imran Khan has done, which no one, arguably no other political leader, maybe the exception of Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, has got massive public support. Over 75% of the people are with Imran Khan. And this was uh, demonstrated this August 14th on Independence Day, when despite the crackdown, millions of people all across Pakistan, on the streets and on social media, said free Imran Khan now. Uh, now, the, what I think going forward is that Pakistan cannot, it cannot sustain military dictatorship as it used to before. Military dictatorship cannot stable Pakistan. The only way forward, Barka, for political and economic stability is free, fair elections. And that is what I'm trying to uh, inform uh, stakeholders in the United States and international uh, stakeholders that if there is no, uh, if there is no uh, movement towards democracy, if democracy is dismantled, it will destabilize a country of 240 million people with nuclear weapons, and it will also destabilize the region. It's a very, you know, it's a very uh, critical uh, uh, stage that we are in. I don't think India wants to destabilize Pakistan. It, it, it would work better with a democratic Pakistan. Uh, I don't think China, Iran, Afghanistan would want to destabilize Pakistan. So it's a very critical time period. Immediately, we should release Imran Khan, who's been uh, put in this death cell for flimsy, false, bogus charges. And we should go towards uh, uh, free, fair elections, as the Constitution says. Are you still hopeful, given that you fear that he might be poisoned? Well, look, uh, uh, here's, here's the thing. I've always been an uh, eternal optimist. I feel that the public, of uh, the 75% plus public of Pakistan will never accept uh, uh, any draconian measure or uh, any uh, anything untoward happening to Imran Khan, the public will show their feelings. 